Whether it's Family Guy or movie reviewers, everyone seems to hate Meg. Is this movie jawsome, or does it bite? Let's dive in and find out. But before we begin, this week's video is brought to you by Battalion Commander Matthew Nicholson. The Empire thanks you for your generosity, my friend. If you would like to support what we're doing here, donate to our PayPal today so we can continue to bring you weekly videos. As Master Qui-Gon once said, there's always a bigger fish, and what a fine cuddle of fish indeed. There's blood in the water, and the sharks are circling. Things are getting out of hand. Now there are three of them, in Meg 2, The Trench, which just made a splash in theaters this weekend. Does this film jump the shark? Well, that depends greatly on your own point of view. If you're looking for a compelling drama you can really sink your teeth into that plums the depths of the human soul. Why the heck are you watching a Jason Statham movie about a giant prehistoric shark, it dipstick? While you might expect me to give the Meg 2 a biting review, I can't really do that because while it's undeniably the biggest fish story you've ever heard, it knows exactly what it is and leans into it. It doesn't try to subvert anything. There are no shocking twists and no Oscar bait performances. It's just a big, loud, goofy summer blockbuster packed to the gills with action, spectacle, and the kind of cheesy dialogue that makes B-monster movies so much fun to watch. I don't know, maybe it's because when I was a youngling, I loved sharks. Shark bites were my favorite fruit snacks. I grew up watching Shark Week or any nature documentary I could find on Great Whites. For years, dinosaurs and sharks were my two favorite things. And this movie is about a dinosaur shark that even eats a T-Rex in the opening scene. That's not a spoiler, by the way. They put that in the trailer. So admittedly, maybe I'm being a little biased here. But while this movie is undeniably ridiculous, I thoroughly enjoyed it. But just to briefly change the subject here, because it's my channel and I'll do what I want, we all know something fishy has been going on with the algorithm here on YouTube for some time. So help us stay afloat by giving this video a like, so we don't get lost in the sea of YouTube videos. And be sure to leave a comment. I'm not fishing for compliments or anything, it just helps the channel grow, and I enjoy connecting with all of you. We're still a little fish in the big pond that is YouTube. We're sitting at 2,971 subscribers, so let's see if we can hit that 3,000 mark by next weekend. Join the Empire today, and together, we will rule the internet. Back to the movie. Without going into spoilers, things are going swimmingly for Jason Statham, until he once again finds himself narrowly escaping the jaws of death, as a new monstrous threat rises from the murky depths leaving a path of destruction in their wake. Our hero is thrown into the deep end, and this time he has bigger fish to fry. Not only is he facing three man-eating megalodons, he's dealing with corporate sharks, mercenaries, and a teenage daughter who listens to him about as much as you'd expect her to. The movie hooks you right away with the T-Rex scene at the beginning, and it never treads water in terms of pacing. I didn't feel the hour and 56 minute runtime because the story moves along at such a fast pace. I will say it is clearly aimed at the Chinese market to the point of feeling like a foreign film at times, particularly in its stilted and cartoonishly evil or cowardly depiction of westerners like you tend to see in kung fu movies. But to its credit, the film isn't a bait and switch. It is everything the marketing promises, although I do think they showed far too much in the trailers. Will it make waves at the box office? We'll just have to wait and see. While some may say it's a watered-down version of Jaws, if you like what you saw from the trailers, and go into it knowing you're not supposed to take it too seriously, I think you'll have a good time watching it with your chums. I give this film a solid 3 out of 5 Death Stars. The Emperor is not as forgiving as I am. This has been Vader Reviews. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And follow me on Twitter, at Vader Reviews. Join the Empire today. You do not yet realize your importance. Share these videos, and together, 
we will rule the internet. And always remember, you don't know the power of the dark side.